If you've watched some of my other videos, you know that a lot of them are on Spencer central vacuums from the 1910s and later. As you know, as you may know, Spencer is still in business today, and you can still get <clears throat> a Spencer central vacuum, though uh, <laughs> the cost would not be in line with another kind of central vacuum that you would more commonly find in your house today. Uh, but one of the unique things that I really admire about Spencer and Ira Spencer, the founder of the company, was just his genius for invention and and his um, his ability to develop the the hoses and tools over a hundred years ago that we would still use today. And uh, so I've laid out a little collection of my my Spencer stuff here. And uh, actually, I've got a I've got a hose over there too. So this is actually a different brand of industrial vacuum hose, but it has Spencer ends on it. And this end design was used by Spencer from, oh, before even 1910. And it's still the same size that they use today. And it's designed to uh, lock onto the hose handle or lock onto another hose. And then this end either fits into a wall inlet or into into this end so that you can extend the hose. And here's a Spencer hose rack. And this is an older one that's from Hartford. I've got a newer one that says Windsor, Connecticut, and uh, that was in the 70s. They moved from Hartford to Windsor. But so back when, let's say 1910, 1915, when other manufacturers were just giving you this kind of setup, and this is a 2 eck hose and tool set, uh, carpet tool, non swiveling. Big huge wand. There, there is a swivel here up the handle, but it's kind of like using a carpet cleaning wand. It doesn't, you know, you have to hold it at the same angle. The Spencer hose would have been similar to this, slightly smaller diameter. Uh, this is one and three quarters, I believe, because the 2X uh, moved so much air, but it's so little pressure. There's a 2X badge. So at the time when you could have gotten that, depending on what central vacuum you bought, Spencer gave you a tool that not only swiveled down at the head, it also swiveled up at the handle. One of Spencer's innovations was the hose swivel. And here's one. So then your wand, the curve of your wand, goes in here, and your vacuum hose hooks on to there. And here's a hose swivel attached to a wand. So this not only allows you to be more flexible when you're cleaning and reach more places and maneuver better, it also allows the hose to hang down to the ground as you're working back and forth, which greatly prolongs the life of the hose. And you remember when, when Spencer came up with this, the hoses would have been canvas and rubber, so they were pretty flexible at first. Uh, but here's an even earlier ad. This ad is 10 years older. And you can see the machine looks a lot different, but in this ad, you can see the carpet tool. There's a new Spencer carpet tool. You can see the felt floor tool. Here's a new Spencer felt bladed floor tool. You can see what they would call the library brush there. And here's a Spencer library brush. This is the one that you get when you call Spencer today and order one. It's the same darn thing. But why wouldn't it be? It works. And finally, all the way to the right, is your Spencer upholstery tool. Now this is actually an older one. Uh, this, this profile, this mold, uh, I don't think they're using anymore. You can also tell this is an older one because of the old Spencer logo stamped in there. Spencer doesn't stamp their logo in the tools anymore, but I think their uh, their old logo is quite a bit cooler than their new one. And the other thing is, because these systems are now used for industrial vacuuming applications, uh, the durability is a lot more important than the, the finish, the looks. So form over, or function over form. Uh, this is the finish you get on the cast aluminum on Spencer tools. But if you sand it and then buff it, you can shine it up pretty nicely. So here's the here's the slotted floor tool. Here's an even older Spencer hose rack. That is iron instead of aluminum. That one over there is aluminum uh, off on the wall. 
but you can see before they came up with the one piece rack they would just give three separate little hooks and you would mount them on a radius uh, on the wall and then you'd hang the hose on there but one interesting thing here's a 1913 Spencer wall inlet uh, that I adapted to be able to plug into a modern central vac inlet and it'll accept a Spencer hose but you can take a brand new Spencer hose like here and plug it into either a 1920 Spencer inlet like this one or a 1913 Spencer inlet like this one and Spencer uh, back in the day when some of the other manufacturers just gave you a little cap that you pulled out and set on the floor or a little screw cap that you unscrewed uh, Spencer had the hinged cover with a gasket and a spring internal and they also had a hook to keep the hose from pulling out of the wall and not that that's a big problem but they thought of it they they said you know this would be a good feature to have and I think that's just remarkable and today with Spencer being in the industrial vacuum business the durability of this stuff that is overkill for a house is now totally at home in industry and so that's that's the reason that you can still get this stuff from Spencer and uh, I really think it's cool and unique that rather than staying in the residential vacuum business and cheapening themselves along the way they've been able to preserve the integrity of making premium products uh, and yet find find markets for them markets that see value in this this kind of engineering and durability here's another old Spencer carpet tool this is the the thread and lint tool I think they called it it's got slots uh, and then a uh, a row of stiff nylon brushes and uh, this is from an era when they were painting their tools hammer tone gray kinda neat here's the the old style Spencer dusting brush which is also still available went on the end of a long wand so that you could dust high up so that's that and that fits in in place of the the floor tool but Spencer wanted you to use a wand that didn't have a curve in it obviously uh, and then the hand dusting brush looks like this this is a fairly new one that I uh, polished and this connection here allows the hose end to fit on here or it allows the wand end to fit on here this one is a little different it only accepts the hose end it's older you can see it's it's got the hammer tone finish but it does swivel and that was uh, another thing from the very very beginning this swivel was ball bearing and uh, that just <laughs> shows an incredible level of quality and you could say overbuiltness but you know these things are designed to be cleaning movie theaters every day all day uh, you know movie theaters government buildings uh, factories and office buildings places where any any weak spot any weak link in the design shows itself very quickly because this is just gonna gonna fall apart when you're vacuuming tens of thousands of square feet of floor space with it and uh, in, in using this of course it's really nice in my workshop here where it's kind of open space but uh, it is designed to clean lots of square footage rapidly and I, I actually I, I'm more comfortable using it down here than I am up in the house when I'm going around furniture uh, there are no bumpers on these tools but anyway so that's uh, that's the story with the Spencer hoses and tools uh, what else we got here there's a brand new Spencer wall in that this is our modern logo So this wall inlet is of the type that uh, is recessed, so it's flush with the wall, and it screws into inch and a half female pipe thread. Spencer inlets these days are only nickel plated, but in the past you could get them in brass plated or whatever else you wanted. Uh, these are solid cast brass, nickel plated, but you can see only a hundred years apart. 
and here's an inlet valve wrench. So when you're installing the Spencer wall inlets, what you don't want to do is put the jaws of a pipe wrench on the finish, which as you can see I've done, or use the hinge, use the cover as a lever to screw the valve in. So they've come up with this, and this, this big piece of iron, I'm just going to do this off camera. Okay, this fits in there and engages with these detents, or these little notches, whatever you call them, on the inside of the valve. And then this allows you to use a wrench to turn the valve in without marring the finish or ruining the valve. The older Spencer valves had a different kind of wrench. You can see there's just one little, little bump out there. And on the newer one it's double-sided. So. This wrench does not actually do anything for you when it comes to removing the old Spencer valve. And here's my little collection of whoop, PVC. Just pretend you didn't see that evil plastic pipe. But uh, lots of these, the ones that look like this all came out of the middle school that had the big seven and a half horse Spencer in it. Here's another one off that 1913 system. This is the 1913 one horsepower Spencer. It came out of a house in Highland Park, Illinois. That had this one, this one, this one. And I think there was one that I couldn't get out without messing up their woodwork. So we left it. But anyway, so that's that. Spencer hoses and tools.